Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, General Sam, back at it again for another Forehead Fables episode podcast. Something about something about something. I haven't done an intro in a long time. Don't know what I'm saying. Mimio is my guest today. Failed stand-up comedian, Rust YouTuber extraordinaire. My daughter's crying in the background. You're going to have to deal with this fucking noise. Let's get this show going. <laughs> she won't shut up. This entire podcast is a ploy to make Aqua look bad. <laughs> Uh, I'm Jewish, so if you say no, you're an anti-Semitic company. <laughs> yes, I, I, you didn't put that in. Yeah. Everyone's just fucking gonna sit at home. Like, what are you doing? I've, I've kind of turned into like a pre-ejaculator, right? Okay. He's gonna be Fuck telling it. rape jokes. Put the phone in here. This can't get <laughs> How do you how do you feel about slavery? Stop. What That's is? But I'm like... up, I think yeah, you need to get that checked out. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, and you hang out with man. Stimpy in real life? He's like old as shit. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I think there's something going on there. He just asked for the screams and that's it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we want high pitches. Hey, long time no see. Long, yeah, three years? <laughs> something yeah. like that? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Once, I think. <laughs> yeah, I remember I used to talk to you all the time with um when I was when I would talk to Bumbo, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. And then the uh, olden days. Yeah. It, w- were they? <laughs> yeah. They're really the bronze ages, I think. Yeah. The dog shit ages. Yeah. Back when we were hunter gatherers <laughs> before anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and uh, me and Stimpy were talking about uh back in the old Bumbo days, right? Yeah, yeah I watched that one. Oh, you watched that? that? Yeah, you yeah. saw that. I fucking invited that asshole to be on my podcast, and he fucking asked questions the entire time. I'm like, this is supposed yeah, to be... Yeah, he really took over that interview. Yeah, he kind of <laughs> fucking wrangled it from me. And so anyways, um, uh, that uh, you should probably do what he did, because I have nothing written, and that was kind of nice, not having to do anything. <laughs> and just sit yeah. back and have him ask all the questions. Like, when, you asked the, when you invited me on, I was like, what is he even going to ask? Like a generic Russ YouTuber, I got lots of questions for you, man. Well, no, I uh, even up? I don't. Hold on, I, I was I I usually have like a giant thing written. Yeah, and uh, I have nothing. <laughs> oh <laughs> we, boy, we got nothing to talk. Gonna be a good one. Yeah, this one's a Strap real shoot in. from the hip. <laughs> Jesus. So uh, I just feel bad now. What we can do is we can shit on Bumbo for an hour. And then I'm we can shift that. our target over to Stimpy. I think I already shit on Bumbo enough last time. I was like, fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's got enough going on, man. Yeah. I don't know. I <laughs> think he's already spiraled down like this suicidal, depressed well. I don't think I need to oh, shit God. down it even more. <laughs> Kick him while he's down, yeah. man. I like, but I love Bumbo. I haven't <laughs> spoke to him in eight. Uh, uh, so anyways, wait, before we get started, I do have a... Um, I got a sponsor thing. Do you want to like do the sponsor thing? Oh yes, please. Yeah, who's the sponsor? This episode's sponsored by NordVPN. Everyone's stuck at home right now. You know, you got nothing to do except for watch Netflix. With NordVPN, you can bypass region locks. See what everybody's watching on uh, Netflix or Hulu and other places like Canada, UK. They got a whole different library of stuff. NordVPN is also great for internet security. It keeps Big Brother. And your ISP from seeing whatever you're looking at at 3 a.m. on the internet. Which, if you're anything like me, sometimes you don't even like seeing what you yourself is looking at at 3 a.m. So if you have any interest in internet security at all, use the link in the description and go to uh, nordvpn.com forward slash forehead fables and use code forehead fables. To get 70% off a three-year plan. Jesus Christ, that's that's $3.49 a month at nordvpn.com forward slash forehead fables using code forehead fables. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we got that sponsor, so our editor, Stolt, he can um, yeah. go beyond the dollar menu at McDonald's. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I got sponsors. I think he does a great job. Yeah, I thought he good did a job, good job, Stolt. too. Except for he has a hard time making me funny. Oh, He's yeah. like, could you edit this in a way that it is edit funny? Some funny memes <laughs> in the video stole. Could you could you somehow replace me with an actual comedian? Oh yeah, that's what I want to talk about. I don't have that written down. I saw you do uh you did like stand up at a club. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did stand up for a little bit. Dude, I had that is, uh oh. how'd that go? Yeah. 
it's it's good. That shit kind of sucks as well, man. Oh yeah. Like the amount of behind the scenes stuff. Like I got into it just thinking, oh, I'll write some jokes, maybe they'll be funny, and I'll go on a stage and tell them, and everyone will like it. Yeah. And then that's what it was the first time. I'm like, oh, this is sick. I'll keep doing this. Mm-hmm. And then you slowly realize, like, there's way more to it. How competitive it all is. There's all these fucking snakes and just shady people. All these other comedians. It's really dodgy. Yeah. Maybe it's just because I'm in, like, not the biggest town, but there wasn't many people doing it. So it was a really small, like, niche. And, uh, yeah, it's just that the thing of doing the same thing over and over again for so long. Yeah, the, uh, I don't know. There's, there's two types of comedians I've discovered. Yeah. And there's the type that they have, like, this act that they work on and they work on yeah. and they work on. And then it's like this perfected segment like uh, Jerry yeah. Seinfeld does that. Mm-hmm. And he'll just do like this 10 minutes. And if it doesn't work, then he'll go to another club and do like the same 10 minutes, but tweak it a little bit. And then yeah. there's people like, um, I don't know if you've seen like, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to bring up his name and everybody's going to be like, oh, that's fucking guy. Norm MacDonald. Because I've, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. it's obvious I fucking love Norm MacDonald. Everybody. I love him. He's funny yeah, as he's fuck. He's funny as fuck. But he'll just like walk onto the, into a club and just say shit. Like, it's <laughs> It's not yeah, prepared. they don't prepare. They'll just like they'll look He's at the audience, go, "Who the guy. fuck's this guy?" Look at this. <laughs> yeah, and They'll just, just go from there. I remember I, I heard a story from um, uh, Jay Moore, and Jay Moore was talking about yeah. how he was doing a tour, and he was just going from like clubs to clubs, and everybody was saying like, "I think Norm might be going senile." Cause he's going from <laughs> club to club, and he was just here, and he was his segment was really weird. And he was just saying a bunch of weird shit and it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't really funny. It was just odd. And then like, he's apparently working on a special and this is his material for the special. And it's just fucking weird. And like, th- he kept hearing that, like he would go to clubs, he was like trailing behind him, you know, mm. like by yep. weeks. And they were like, yeah, Norm was just here. He was doing like, and it was to- like, each story was different. They were like, no, no, he did this segment on like, uh, killing this woman. And, uh, it was very strange. <laughs> it wasn't funny at all. And then, um, and then he puts out his special, and it's the funniest fucking special. Yeah, of all time. I was gonna say it has nothing to do with like half the shit he was trying out. So what was he doing? Just like he's just fucking up, around. Just I don't know. rambling. He doesn't perfect his act. I don't think. He, I think when he does a special, he's like, oh, okay, this one's filmed, and he just goes up there and does it. It's not. I don't think <laughs> does it shit properly. He's prepared on no. Yeah, he seems like the kind of guy to do that. <laughs> Have you seen that bit though about him killing a woman? No. I, he's the only person I've ever seen that has taken, it's like a 13, 14 minute segment of him like, oh, God. if he was to, if he was to kill someone, this is how you do it. <laughs> how he would do it. What and he fuck? like lures her into the woods. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and he's like, bodies are always found in very shallow graves. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a very, very <laughs> deep <laughs> grave. <laughs> the guy's fucking insane. Oh. He's so funny, man. He's how old is he now? He's getting on a bit. Yeah, dude, I, that was that's what was funny is I always like see clips of him and he and he's like you know he looked like an older guy but he didn't look that old. And then I bought one of those cameo things from him. Oh, he's on that. Yeah, he was on that. About a well, he has I a gambling those. problem, so he's probably broke as fuck. So I, I, I did a cameo <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, threw him, threw him a, a, some change, and he was like, "Okay, I'll do the cameo." And <laughs> and he sent me this cameo. He looked like Grandfather Time. He was fucking old and like wrinkly oh, and God. shit. His hair was all gray. And he always has like all this hair sticking out of his ears and shit. Yeah. He's fucking really old. But I I'd always like the thing respected with him. And I've always yeah. respected uh, uh, like Dave Chappelle, like the oh, best yeah, yeah. stand up comedian of all time. I fucking love that guy. And yeah. He's also another one where he just really works the crowd. And works the crowd, dude. I've never seen anybody. It so relaxed on stage yeah he just chills up there it's like i don't know i like i'm more uncomfortable just talking to my mom than he is on stage <laughs> yeah. he's so relaxed up there it fucking drives me wild yeah. but i see him and i think like what i find so appealing about him is that i know deep down like i would when i saw that you did stand up i was like dude yeah. Big props to you because I would never have the balls to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I would either. And it's just 
Oh, yeah, it's fucked when you first get up there for the first time. Yeah. Man, I was about two sentences away from shitting my trousers, like, on the stage. That would have been a it great was, opener. <laughs> it like, would have. That uh, would have sold it. Just shit my yeah, pants. Just shit everywhere. I don't know yeah. if you guys have been in this position. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with shit in your pants, but Being on man. this side of the room looking towards you guys, it's a different thing, and I just shit my pants. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that and I was like, I've had nightmares about that. Like, I have such an interest in stand up comedy, but I'm just not. I always have that fear of like going, like, nightmares of going up there. Yeah. Like, actual nightmares. Just and and like doing the set and it's just dying, just dead. Yeah. Yeah. I only had, I think, two, two. I did a whole bunch. I did it for quite, quite a while. I was probably doing it for like half a year or something. Which actually isn't that long in the grand scheme of things, but yeah, I think I had two, two shows where it didn't really work. There was like a couple laughs. I feel like there might have been sympathy laughs, and it was mm. yeah. Once you're up there, it's really you just got to keep going or get off I, the stage, and it's like oh god. I feel like once you're not funny, it's hard to get the funny. <laughs> you know oh what I yeah, mean? and you see the people. I saw a few. Like at the local comedy clubs, who would start bombing completely, and then they'd turn on the crowd. They'd be like, "Nuts, nah, you guys don't get it. Like it's your fucking problem. I'm yeah. funny," and everyone just be like, "Bro, get this guy off." That would be me. I would viciously attack. You reckon? Him. Yeah. Start that throwing would be glasses me. at people. Yeah. Fucking laugh. What are you doing? Do it. Laugh. <laughs> How is this not funny? <laughs> I worked on this pee pee joke for months. <laughs> It's I just perfect. Shit my pants on stage. What do you I shit my it's pants for you people. <laughs> like an angry housewife. Do you know what I've given you? <laughs> I've given I everything. Have nothing. My mom got me these underwear for Christmas, and now they're <laughs> gone because of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. That's stand up shit. I, I just don't think I could do it. <laughs> yeah, and no, I packed it in. It was. uh is there yeah, just like any money so. in it if you're not big? Oh no, fuck! No. Like, yeah, you cannot do it for the money for oh. the first however many years. It, it's like you go to a, a place and have a, have a drink on us, oh. like not even a good drink. It'd be like the shittest drink they have. It's like have have one of these, mate. You're right. Treat have yourself. A, have a seltzer water. <laughs> yeah, it'd be something like that. It's, it's like have a. I don't even know. Lemon have this Pepto Bismol after you shit your pants on our stage. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need it. Take this up with you. So, like, have you ever heard of like Bill Burr's story? Uh, is it the one where he's at the school? Oh well, or something. It was like st- him, wait, him bombing at a school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's you great... sent that to me, didn't you? Yeah, I think yeah, you I did. Think, yeah. yeah, you did. You fucking did. <laughs> like the night before yeah. my first fucking stand up, you yeah. sent that to. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Thanks. he's he's going. Uh, you're going up, and you're like, I'm uh, tomorrow. That's what it was. You tweeted. You're like, tomorrow I have. I'm doing stand up for the first time ever, and this is. Yeah, I'm totally like, like f- my stomach is, is in knots, and I was like, oh, here you go, buddy. I hadn't talked to you in years, so I just sent you this yeah. clip of like Bill Burr's worst bombing ever, and he's yeah. like. He was at like some university in Kansas in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> and he's booked Such to do a, a, a cafeteria and it has like 12 people in it. And it's like a double decker cafeteria. And he goes up there and he's just mm. doing his bit and nobody is fucking laughing. Nothing. And it's <laughs> echoing back at him. <laughs> and people just walking past and yeah. looking at him. <laughs> There's some guy that gets up halfway through and just walks up to him and goes, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <just keeps walking. laughs> He said, like, that was so depressing because he just he gets off the stage, gets a check, gets back in his car, and just drives off into the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know what's great yeah. about that story is that was probably before the internet. Like, if that happened today, there were, you would get... You'd get in oh, your car, yeah. and by the time you got to the next city, it would be blowing up on Twitter. Look at this fucking asshole bombing by himself. <laughs> idiot. Why is he in a cafeteria? Look at this fucking dude. Oh, my God. Now I know why people like Louis C.K. like take your phones before you enter the club. Like they take them Did and they? put them in these bags. Yeah, so you don't film them doing what? like bits that they're trying out. I didn't know that because I saw when he, when all the shit was going down with him, someone like leaked his new show or something. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? It was yeah, just had, all of these. 
I think yeah. they had two cell phones was the story behind that. Really? What the yeah. fuck? It's like, I didn't realize it was that deep. You actually take the phones off. No, what they do is they have Jesus. this bag system where it's like, yeah. Uh, when you walk in, they give you a bag and you put your cell phone in it and they seal it. And then oh, they, okay. you keep it with you. So, you know, they're not stealing your right. phone. Right. But then when you go to leave, if you want your phone back, you're going to have to they gotta open it. Them. Yeah, yeah, they open it. I thought you meant it was just like one big sack and they all get their phones <laughs> in together. <laughs> yeah, like, a, like a like Pulp Fiction, like the robbery scene. Yeah. Like they get <laughs> phone in the fucking sack. Just put them all in it. He's going to be Fuck telling it. rape jokes. Put the phone in here. This can't get <laughs> you might You might get his cock and balls out. Don't feel. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he asked permission first. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. whacking off in front of some people what's the problem <laughs> you know what's always cracked me up about that story is he was he yeah. asked permission for those ladies right yeah and then he he he's like whacking off in front of him and one girl is was a comedian and she was like the experience was so disheartening that i just i stopped being a comedian what i was like bitch if you can't handle Having some That'd fucking... be like the funniest story you could. I was tell. about to say. First of all, that by that point he was a, a established comedian. You would think that would be yeah. a great thing to talk about. You know, yeah. As a as, like that's just material free of charge. Second of all, if you can't handle having some guy whack up in front of you, then you oh, most God. definitely can't handle bombing in front of a giant crowd. I would much having... rather louis ck whacking off in front of me then if i had the choice between on a stage successfully doing a, a set and then immediately after for the price of having a good set would be me going backstage and having louis ck whack off in front of me i would choose that every time <laughs> <laughs> every time comedy slut. <laughs> i would be dude i would have such a bustling career he would have like friction burns on his cock from how much he'd be oh. whacking off in front of me yep <laughs> You ever have those growing up when you're like 14 and you just can't stop? Uh, <laughs> can't stop yeah. wagging off like eight times in one day because it's a fucking like, yeah, yeah. your mom has to go in on Saturday. You don't have school or something. School's out for the summer. <laughs> all you do all day is whack off. <laughs> yeah, I had a few of those nights. Yeah, a few. Yeah. Had a decade of that from, yeah. from 10 till 20. Still going. I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. How old are you? 21. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're young as fuck. Yeah. Wait, and you hang out with man. Stimpy in real life? He's like old as shit. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I think there's something going on there. Yeah, is he your little daddy? <laughs> like he pays me good. I'm yeah. not supposed to. He just asks for the screams and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound authentic. <laughs> we want high pitches. Yeah, high pitches. Okay, so now that I've officially ran out of stuff, let's get into the divisive topics. Uh, do you ever talk about politics on your channel? Oh, no. No, never? I don't talk about politics, you kidding me? Do you avoid it because it's controversial? Just that and, like, I know I'm pretty fucking stupid, so I feel like whatever opinion I have would just be wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. no. would go, yeah, you're an idiot. No, no, no. It's no. just you not like gotta, that. If you're life. stupid, that's when you have to be the loudest about your politics. Oh, yeah, true. That's what it seems like. <laughs> People that are smart, they they sit there and lay back and don't say shit. They listen. <laughs> yeah, they listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't scream. They listen. No. Yeah. No, I like. There's a lot of people out there that just they use. The, they're like, it's my duty to use my platform. Mm. No, I hate to that. spread my political, like Aqua. You know him. They do that. Oh my god, he won't stop. I feel like I can't trust what you say. I Me? know what this podcast is. This is just a this entire podcast is a ploy to make Aqua look bad. <laughs> I know what this That's is. That's why I started it, really. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was it. You know, and it's funny because like I he he you know what's so funny about me just shitting on him is he never responds. Yeah. He never like really? there's never him going like come on man or nothing. He's just even though it's happening or just people just think he's a dickhead behind the scenes. They don't like, even think he's a dickhead. Up. They look at him for two seconds and realize he's squeaky clean and they go, Ah, Sam's yeah. just fucking around. <laughs> there's no way. He's like no, I've like haven't even spoken to him before and I know he's so not Yeah. Like, I don't even know the guy. He <laughs> he doesn't even have like like if you talk to him and stuff, even in like private, you know, and you say something horrible. 
he'll like he goes like, "Oh, come on, man!" Like, <laughs> shakes his head. Yeah, just, shakes his head. Like, his like, dude, your fucking priest isn't listening in on this. You know what the fucking yeah. animal offended? <laughs> yeah. Now he, uh, the worst thing he, he told me was like, you know, he lives in New York City, and so there's yeah. like homeless people and everything. And yeah, yeah, he told me that like he's crossed the street because there was a homeless person that was begging for money, and he wanted to avoid them. That was about as bad as he's ever gotten in my That's- eyes. What? That's, that's like even bad. default for me. That's yeah. what I do every time. Yeah. So I changed the story and, and I, I said in some video that he kicked a homeless man down a staircase because he <laughs> asked <laughs> for money. <laughs> it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Did the Sparta kick. Get out of here. <laughs> kicked him down. <laughs> but like I yeah. say all this shit about him and like he just sits there and just he never even responds. No rebuttal or nothing. <laughs> yeah. He's like the the uh uh, personification of like I'm rubber and you're glue <laughs> whenever you say bounces yeah. off me in 60 yeah so I'm just so this angry like... man yelling at myself <laughs> yeah he's just not having a bar of it no no and he, and he refuses that's why I always ask him about politics stuff because he, he refuses to get into politics but I think yeah. it's because it's divisive not because he doesn't yeah. have opinions on it I know he has opinions on it in private you reckon uh, there'll be like a big argument about it I, I think he he just, I I think he knows it makes people upset. Yeah. You know, and people like stick to their guns so much, you know. Well, you know, I'm kind of like that as well. I don't know enough about it and I know it gets people worked up a lot. So I'd rather just leave it completely. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I think this podcast is a great opportunity to get off the fence <laughs> <laughs> and and go ahead and as Mr. Mimeo as a brand as a stand up comedian and no, no, hang on. Hang on. put your foot down on a divisive topic. How do you how do you feel about slavery? Stop. Wait, can you even hear me? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What? My computer just blue screened for a second. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that how you're getting out of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, restart your computer, that's fine. Yeah, I'll restart quickly and we'll get back to politics. Yeah. Let's get back to it. You know what? I've had so many fucking podcasts like ref- it says it's recording your audio, but it's not, so I have like redundancy set up out the ass. Oh really? Make sure that doesn't happen where yeah. yeah. I think it's so many computer issues lately. Oh, really? I don't know what is going on. Yeah, I think I have to like open my graphics card now and get the thermal paste in there and all kinds of shit. It just keeps like revving up. I don't know. It's probably going to blow up. Dude, when I was younger, I used to like relish the whole building of PCs. Yeah. And now I I'm like, that, that is a, no. <laughs> I can Imagine doing that, that for a living. That's what I've always thought. Like, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just annoying. I find computers annoying. So annoying. Yeah. There's always something as well. Like whether it's my mic or <clears throat> graphics card. I don't know, man. So I I ended up like, I just bought one of those pre built Yeah. Have you ever done like a, a sponsorship with a, a, a computer company? Yeah. Well, this one here is one of those. Oh, really? Yeah. It was through um, Ironside, those ones. Oh, yeah. Did they like yeah. rape you on the contract? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is like this is probably two or three years ago. I I ended up like <laughs> I I emailed some of those companies like Zydax yeah. and fucking Origin and Ironside. Yeah. And said, hey, like, what kind of deal can you give me for like a sponsor? Because I don't want to buy a fucking PC. It's stupid. Like it. No. Nobody wants expensive. to buy one. Yeah, no. expensive. So they were like, yeah, sure. Like you get the free PC and you have to make a video of you unboxing it. And I'm like, how the fuck is that going to be entertaining? Because everybody does that. And then. Yeah. And then there, there was like a bunch of other things that they wanted me to do. And, uh, and then I had to be like their bitch for like a year in the, in the, yeah. the description and everything. And I, and I sat there, I thought about it and I was like, you know, or I could do a sponsored dedicated video, which nobody likes dedicated videos, but in that way, yeah. at least people aren't getting this stupid brand shoved down their throat for a year in a contract. For a year, yeah. yeah. So I did like a War Thunder sponsored video. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, War Thunder, and uh, Is that game good. You can say now that you know it, sponsorship. It's one of those games that was it's killed. 
by the way that they monetize it. Oh, uh, yeah, I yeah. thought it'd be like that. It's very pay to win and yeah. it's super. Like, if it wasn't so pay to win, if you could actually grind for stuff at a reasonable rate. Yeah, it's you, free to play, isn't it? Yeah, it's free to play, but you have to spend like fucking like 40 hours to get any amount yeah. of anything done. It seemed like one of those. Yeah, it's one of those. But if you just simply drop some of your daddy's cash. <laughs> yeah, if you buy some gems, yeah. you get. It's Best so fucking annoying. Yeah, but I did one of those. I just bought the PC outright. Yeah. And I, I didn't have to be their bitch. And then I also had another great idea. Like, have you ever had uh, ideas that are that would just be great for a sponsored fit? And so yeah, I actually, like, I pitched this idea. I made, like, a PDF uh, file oh, of, man. like, a presentation <laughs> for this company. I think, I think I sent it off to Origin. And I was like, yeah, it was when Tarkov was bopping huge, right? And I was like, hypothetical situation, right? <laughs> you send me a PC that you want, like a build of a PC that you want to uh, to promote, right? Yeah. And uh, and and I take that PC and using that, I run. I'm I'm controlling two PCs at once. I have one account as my main account on my main PC, which is already an Origin PC, so that's fine. It's like double mm. marketing. And I'm yep. doing my stupid like rat thing where I go around and grab loot. And then my second yeah, yeah. PC, the one that you send me, I'm using to give myself like sniper overwatch support from a cliff. <laughs> you know, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. And like, Shit. I would have like cameras set up in the room and everything where I'm like checking both yeah. monitors, like a fucking and you're, like hacker. going between desks. Yeah. And, oh, you know, I had, yeah. like a thermal scope and everything. So I could see where other people <laughs> are moving and like be able to avoid them. And I figured it would take forever to, uh, to edit and forever to film just to get like the right, yeah. you know, but I right, thought it would be, be a like hilarious video. Thing. Yeah. And then a good ad and everything. And I sent it to him. And then, um, I think like the, the thing that made it so that they did not contact me was yeah. uh, I said, like, here's like the pros, like it'll do this and this and this and this. And then I said, uh, oh, it was like, it was like pros. If you say yes to this deal, <laughs> to the sponsorship. Deal. <laughs> and then I was like, cons, if Why you, you say should no. send me a PC. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I was like cons. If you say no, uh, I'm Jewish. So if you say no, you're an anti-Semitic company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, you didn't put that. In. Yeah, I put that in there. <laughs> I sent it to them and they never responded. <laughs> Uh, they didn't give me a yes or a no. They were like, we'll just well, not play this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, and, God, I, I, I think I need to stop fucking with corporate people so much. Brands? Yeah. Yeah, do you do that a lot? Oh, that's all I do. Yeah. Yeah, If especially if they, like, oftentimes for new accounts and stuff, they'll, like, They'll talk to you like an actual account manager, and then they'll hand you off after that you get some rapport. They kind of hand yeah. you off to like an intern. Mm. That's when the fun starts. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you send weird shit. Doing their best. Yeah, I'm not sure if you hear my wife fucking screaming in the back. Yeah, I heard something. Yeah, I don't know what that was she's doing. Like a war cry was going. I don't know. Her and my daughter Jesus. are getting into fights today. Yeah, I've never seen a thirty-year-old woman and a fucking two-year-old get into a fight, but it, it happens. Oh God! And somehow the two-year-old wins every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God! No, like my life during this quarantine has been watching Mickey Mouse Playhouse, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh God! You every still day. alive? Every still day. kicking. Yeah. How's your soul doing? Good. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Evaporating slowly. <laughs> Yeah, do you have like that Disney Plus thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you have Disney Plus, go back and they have all of Mickey's shit. My kid's like really into Mickey, right? Yeah. And so we were like, hey, let's watch some old Mickey. Like, what's the oldest thing they got on here? So Mickey Mouse used to be this guy called Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie, yeah. Yeah. And so we watched the first episode ever of Steamboat Willie, made in like 1928. He's whistling on the boat. Or yeah. He like whistles on yeah. the boat and he dances and everything. All right, so yeah. the that thing's fucked up because like halfway through the episode, he ends up like <laughs> he ends up like playing a song by doing different things with like animals, and like yeah. there's a point where he fucking he takes two cats and he like ties their tails together. <laughs> Jesus! And then he and then Why? He, there's like a pig that has like a mama pig, and she has like all these little piggies on her on her teats. 
and he goes over there and starts fucking Dude. drop kicking and shaking those pigs off the teats and starts like squeezing the titties. Playing the teats? <laughs> yeah, what playing the, the teats. fuck? And the fucking babies are like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? This is like the most horrible show ever. That sounds satanic. Yeah, what the fuck is horrible. that? Jesus. Oh, man. That was before Walt Disney got into Nazism, before those ideals. Yeah, it were, wasn't that a thing. Before that set him straight. Yeah. <laughs> that was before he was corrected. He learned his lesson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Back on political stuff, I forgot about that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, he, uh, I was going to say, now's the time on this podcast, you need to set your foot down on a divisive topic. Yeah. How does Mimeo feel? About slavery. Uh, Mr. Mamio thinks that it was bad. You know what? I'm glad to hear you say that because yeah. here at General Sam, we've always felt. I Now that I have an employee, I can say we have. <laughs> yeah. Here at General, General Sam, Sam Incorporated. Inc. Yeah. 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 We've always felt that slavery was not cool. No, it's not dope at all, actually. Except for the things that slavery created pretty fucking cool let's be honest a lo- pyramids a lot came out of pretty it. dope <laughs> yeah pyramids pretty cool look pyramids at. are fucking pretty sick but uh but the actual uh slavery not cool no but harems that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> you know having like a, a like whole pros room, and cons what having is- a whole room of sex slaves that's pretty cool yeah but actually like enslaving a woman and uh no, forcing her to have sex not cool not at all you can't do that but the concept of a harem, that's pretty cool. That sounds pretty dope. <laughs> that sounds pretty, dope. pretty cool, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just saying. Like, or like, uh, uh, you ever thought of like owning a giant farm, but then never actually having to farm in it? That's pretty cool. Yeah. But actually enslaving people lazy. to work on your farm? No, I wouldn't cool. go that far. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. That's not cool. <laughs> Here at Mimeo and General Sam Inc. <laughs> don't. We've don't had a corporate merger. <laughs> Uh, no bad this man. Yeah. My employee in mergers and acquisitions. His name's Stalt. He's kind of a Stalt. jack of all trades. He's already signed the contract without you knowing. We're we're one entity but, now. Um no. we don't agree with slavery. No. Let's At just all. leave it there. You know what I'm gonna do? Every episode I'm gonna pick a really divisive topic. I'm gonna put my foot down on it on whether or not I agree yeah. with it. Yeah, no. today slavery, not cool. Never cared for it. Cool. Every no. I, yeah. Next episode. Big, big no. What's next? Uh, probably eugenics. Yeah? Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah. Genetic engineering? Not a big fan. Yeah. I think all people are cool. Yeah. Yeah. But if there was a way where we could genetically fix them, that would be cool. But eugenics? Not cool. Not at no. all. <laughs> <laughs> but if we could alter their genes in some way... <laughs> To make us superhuman. Yeah. Better people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. But eugenics not cool at all. No, I was watching no. this. <laughs> I was watching this Fuck documentary it. on gene editing. What's, and what's that? Well, apparently they've like sequenced our genomes, right? Where they, they can yeah. like they go through our DNA and they're like, hey, this is what causes you to look like a fucking man baby at 30 with a receding <laughs> hairline. Yeah. Yeah. And uh and they they've sequenced all that crap and what makes you like predisposed to diabetes and stuff and they can yeah. now like figure out Review how to edit it. it so that your kids won't wow. have that stuff right or be prone to having that stuff and and like the way it works is like percentages so if like your kid had like a 70% chance of being obese they could alter it around <laughs> so it was like it was a more a better outcome where it's like a 10% chance or a 20% chance or something of being fat yeah and um, what they, yeah. so I was, I was watching that and they like broke it down to like this fucking uh, square of, of, of influence where it's like they, they're having like this fight behind the scenes of what's okay to edit. Like, is it okay to edit out people that suffer from horrible diseases that kill them? Well, duh. What? You know? Yeah. Uh, that's a big Who's door. arguing that? But then they're <laughs> like, but should we be, should we make it so that dwarfs are never a thing? Because from our point of view, dwarves, they don't have a very long life expectancy. And, you know, yeah. it would probably suck to be a dwarf. But then there was, like, this dwarf spokes lady that comes on. And she's like, oh, you're trying to remove my people. I'm like, you're not a race of people. I mean, yeah, it's not like the long line of dwarves. 
Yeah, it's not like you're taking dwarves and saying, like, yeah, we're not we're like gonna throwing change them you. In a, in it's a like, yeah, Captain America pod thing and just turning <laughs> them into normal people. Just stretch them. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yes, yes, like a stretch Armstrong, <laughs> like grab them by the head. Putty, yeah, stretch Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Put broomsticks on their legs to replace their femurs with broomsticks. <laughs> now they uh, just but but she's like a big coat. She was like, I, I had children and they they suffer from dwarfism. They don't suffer though. She didn't say that. She's like, they have dwarfism. Yeah. Very proud they dwarves. They chose. This lady. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, I want I want to have a long line of dwarves and my like a whole clan of dwarves. And I'm like, don't you feel like that's kind of a fucking asshole move? Like Yeah. They fuck they, apparently their legs are in constant pain. Yeah, they they, yeah. You know, and like they, their knees and their yeah. joints. You know, I, I've seen enough. Yeah, Game I feel of like if I was born as my mum, yeah, you know, I'd be pissed off. Tyrion had a rough life. He did. Yeah, he shot his dad with a crossbow. He did. That's not a good life. But he spent a lot of time in brothels. Yeah, true. So he kind of well, had a cool life. He spent a lot more time in brothels know, yeah. than me. You know. Yeah. I wish I was a rich want dwarf. A dwarf. Never mind. Yeah, yeah let's play. forget it. Can we get more dwarves? Yeah. Can Maybe we, we should do it? gene editing where we just make nothing but dwarves. You know. Yeah. Get rid of the tall. Man. Yeah. Sick of it. Nobody could be a Chad if we're all. <laughs> if we're exactly. All dwarves. If we're all four foot. Yeah. <laughs> no, but there was a. Yeah, there, there were. I forget how the square went. They had like a, a like what are those called? That they use for like plants and shit, Punnett squares, where they like, yeah, yeah, and it was like, should we fix things that are current problems in people? Uh, there are like ailments, like diabetes, and then there's like, yeah, like designer babies on the other side of the spectrum, where it's like, I want a baby with blue eyes, <laughs> you know, like we yeah, shouldn't be doing that get kind the of bit. stuff. Yeah, like Barbie doll, I want this one. Yeah, yeah, nah. Which uh, you, you know, I always thought was the coolest combo. Mm-hmm. You ever seen CSI, the original no, crime scene so. investigation? Okay, there's like this black guy on that show that had like yeah. he had like gray eyes. Gray eyes. Yeah, it was cool. They were Is like that a thing. Yeah, a thing. it was cool as hell. They were like gray eyes. He was this black guy, and and what really pissed me off was I was like, "There's no way I can have a black baby with gray eyes, <laughs> not in a million years." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the gray eyes part. Yeah, I mean that's a one in a million, but like. Yeah, I wish there was a way my wife, when she had her kid, if that kid could have come out black, and then yeah, just, you would have been happy. I would have been. I, that's that Over would have been moon. pure happiness for me. Yeah, but sadly, God, I don't no know way. how this happened, but I've seen that before. Yeah, I've seen pictures of of families out there where it's a white dad, white mom, <laughs> and there's a black kid, yeah. and I'm like, how do they do it? You know? How? Yeah. How do they? How do they luck into that? Some people. Congrats. But that's where gene yeah. editing comes in. You know? Yeah. Maybe I might be able to have one of those one day. <laughs> God. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> could I might be a lucker dog. Who knows? Oh, so anyways, are you under quarantine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you in a relationship yeah. or anything? Uh, no, just got out of one. Are you, oh, free. A free man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, is dating hard? Like how recently? Is this thing, is this thing uh, still ripe on the heart? Yeah, to date, no. <laughs> like, uh, oh, probably like two or three months. Oh, two or three months ago? That's not just out of it. How yeah. long were you dating her? Uh, it was close to a year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, is, is yeah. It, are you doing any dating? <laughs> Trying to do dating? Or is it hard during the quarantine? Oh, uh, not at the moment. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, it's hard, obviously. Yeah. Everyone's just fucking sitting at home. Like, what are you doing? Sitting at home. What are you doing? <sighs> sitting at home. Yeah. yeah. Well, it sucks because, like, um, you know, my wife's always here, right? So not to rub it in your face or yeah. anything. We've been having more Yeah, sex, yeah, go on. You have you a know? wife. Yeah, yeah, sex and love. Yeah, go on. Yeah. And, uh, um, well, uh, you know, I've, I've kind of turned into, like, a pre-ejaculator, right? Okay. And it always took me some time to, you know, and... um. Sure, sure. And so she's like, she's sitting there like scratching her chin like, why is he coming so fast all of a sudden? Yep. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not fucking whacking off eight times a day. He's <laughs> <laughs> your home all the time. I can't be sitting like, like, yeah. you know. Because <laughs> before yeah. I'd be working on it. You know, you know, editing videos. You're like, you edit for like three hours and you're like, ah, 
<laughs> you just I, fucking I go, need a release. Yeah, you yeah. crank off really quick. Can't do that shit now. I got a fucking kid and wife at home. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that'd be too awkward. <laughs> and so I now I Yeah, so it. she's like she's like, Wow, like what the fuck is it? <laughs> All yeah. of a sudden, he's like a pre-jaguator. It's so weird. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Does isolation what's make the penis what's sensitive? Changed? Yeah. <laughs> what changed? Is that a symptom? What's <laughs> going on? Uh, yeah, no, okay. They lifted some restrictions today, I think, actually. Oh, here. really? Right, yeah, I live in Tasmania, so it's like the little fucking island what? below Australia. You know, the little island? Do you really? Just below Australia, yeah. Oh, I'm looking that shit up, Des. Tasmania, Tasmania. Oh, I thought you hung out with Stimpy. You didn't live in fucking Tasmania. Yeah, he he came here. Or we we met up for the first time in Melbourne, where Pax Australia was. Uh huh. And then um, him and his partner were looking for places to move to, and they were torn between like Melbourne or Hobart, where I live in Tassie. And so they came down what? to visit. No wonder you're having a hard time with the the circle of stand-up comedians. You're on this fucking isolated little That's island. That's what I'm the, saying. It's such a the, competitive thing. There's like six people. A competitive <laughs> thing. There's like yeah. There's like what? There's only. <laughs> there's I only know. Room for six comedians. That's why the yeah. internet's a beautiful thing. You need to just focus on being an internet comedian. Oh yeah. yeah. If you say something horrible, you can edit it out. That's, yeah. That's what I love. So that's the thing with me with streaming. Like, I don't, do you stream at all? Dude, I did streaming. Yeah. And then I felt like a um, like a street performer, you know? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, like a man with a, a hat. Shot. Yeah. On, on the ground and going, please give me money, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please. Like an act was crossing the road from you and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck. And he just, <laughs> and like, as he walks by, he drops kick you on the jaw. He just spits in your hat. Yeah. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> trying to make a living here. <laughs> come on man uh, no what's weird about streaming though is like if you go to um the just chatting or whatever segment yeah. section i'm looking at tasmania dude you are really like at the corner of the world yeah it's freezing as well my hands are so cold right now is it cold yeah we're well, near bloody antarctica it's fucking freezing yeah, down there. Yeah. wait so the southern tip of new zealand is it cold down there uh must be this is even further south than you. Yeah, yeah. New Zealand's going to be cold. Like what's well, we the get really there bad right now. Well, right now? We'll have a yeah, look. I'm gonna have to convert this sick. to f- to to freedom units. Yeah, freedom units. Yeah. Uh it's eleven degrees Celsius. Eleven Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's fifty-one degrees. But yeah, what's that? Is, is it that... windy? I don't think so. No? Okay, it's just, no, it's just... it doesn't seem like it is. I guess if it's been that cold for a while and you don't have the heat on in your house, then... Do you guys have, yeah. like, central air what in you your mean? home? Like, like an air conditioner outside the yeah, house yeah, that, we... like, pumps it through yeah, the, yeah, each yeah. room? It's, we call it a heat pump. A heat Very pump. basic. Yeah, heat yeah. Pump. pump. No, pump no, no. Heat. Like, that's what we call it, too. Yeah. That's like what... Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Well, it it depends. There's different kinds, but yeah, that, yeah like yeah. mine happens to be a heat pump. But mm. central air is just the concept of pushing air into each room. Well, yeah. the uh, I had a friend growing up. Apparently, that's just a thing that people have in like weird climates. Because I yeah. had a fr- I had a bunch of people that were like friends up in in Pennsylvania, New York, and stuff. They're mm. just in the north where it snows and stuff, and so they have like a boiler or they'll have like a furnace. But they won't have anything for when it gets fucking hot. <laughs> yeah. Right? And so, like, That's, during the winter, yeah. they're like, oh, I'm nice and warm. But during the summer, they're like, oh, I just, I guess I'll just put my balls, <laughs> stretch it out like a, like a, like, like a bat wing like a and just put cap. it on a, on a cold yeah. tile floor or something to cool <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, we and, have that problem here. It gets fucking hot and it's like, there's nothing you can do. Well, you don't have like, a, like, cool air for your heat pump or no? I'm not, I, maybe it does i don't know i just remember once we had like a it was on christmas and it was the hottest day we've ever had here and like i moved my entire computer setup outside it was that fucking hot i couldn't be in the house i couldn't breathe God. it was so bad well that and it sounds like you don't have ac <laughs> maybe that maybe it's just yeah. heat i don't know yeah but that's what i was saying was like i had a i had a friend in pennsylvania that he 
He was like, Sam, dude, I got central air today. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he goes, no, <laughs> no, you don't understand, bro. Like, a big box outside and, like, cold air in each room. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're living it, dude. He's like, no, you don't understand, bro. AC, but everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, do you think I, I live in Florida, right? Yep. I would fucking die in my house if I didn't have AC. Have it, a, yeah. It's so fucking hot here. <laughs> I would just be melting onto the floor. Like, let's see. I bet you nobody lived here until the invention of AC. Until and they're like, like, okay. We, it. Yeah. People aren't dying anymore. We can <laughs> until they here. discovered ice cubes and shit. And then they're like, okay, we can go <laughs> further south now. <laughs> yeah, man. It sucks, though. Because yeah. I, I guess you at least get di- like different seasons. But here it just goes from sweating with a short sleeve shirt on to comfortable with a short sleeve shirt on. Yeah. I hate That's the it. heat. I'd much rather be cold oh, than like too hot. Times over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why that's why I always told my wife, like in the winter, she wants to crank up the heat. And I'm yeah. like, bitch, you can savor it. Keep no, not just that, but like in the, okay, in the summer. Yeah. I like having the house nice and cold. Yeah. But in the winter, like, if you're cold, just put on a fucking sweater. Yeah, you know it's I mean? way easier to warm up. Put on a blanket. I can only get so naked when I get hot. Yeah. <laughs> but when that's you get the cold, thing. you can put on as much. You can skin a whole other person and wear their skin. Like, you can get as warm you as could. you want. You, you can, need to. Yeah, you can put as many things as you wanted on you to warm up. Layers There's no limit. Yeah. yeah. There's people that go out in Antarctica and, like, ice fish and shit. Is they they yeah, make they jackets look like the that, Michelin yeah. man walking yeah. around. Yeah, you ever seen that movie, uh, The Thing? John Carpenter's The Thing. The classic, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about this. Right, mm-hmm. I was. Do you have VR? Yeah, I was thinking like, what would be a great? I've always like had this in my mind, like thinking of like great concepts that'd be great in VR. Yeah. At first, my my thought was a uh, portal, right? Like the portal games from Valve. And then I was yeah. like, your fucking asshole friend would shoot a portal under your feet and then through the ceiling and you would just be vomiting in your room as you True, fell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fell in a never ending loop. I'd be like, that wouldn't that. that would not work well. Yeah, they've got a VR game thing, but it's kind of shit. Have you seen it? It's like you can't mm. shoot actual portals, it's just like the blocks on buttons and stuff. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But my, my idea for a VR game was uh was a game like the thing, like a horror survival game. Cause I saw on yeah. Twitter, you and, uh, and Stimpy are really into the horror co-op games. Yeah. We've been doing that a lot lately. Yeah. Or more like Stimpy's been riding your coattails as resident screamer. <laughs> <Whenever> he gets... <laughs> yeah. He's just this old guy and he's Loud. like, let's make him scream, mate. <laughs> yeah. He just puts me in these situations and he just runs away and leaves me with like a fucking just watches monster around the or corner. Goop. And then like... he'll just stare at me and like, I seem like such a pussy, but yeah, he screams a lot as well. He just doesn't put Yeah, it he cuts video. that out. He's he Mr. Muscles. Out. Yeah. He yeah. Know if I can put that in a video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I was, I was thinking like for a VR game, if you do, um, so like one person is, the thing and yeah yeah well yeah. It, it would be a lot like how the movie plays out basically and it, oh, yeah. there's a million games that have been made like this where you have a, a yeah. crew of people that you have to do uh whatever you know some objective yeah and then, like dead by daylight or something yeah Those exactly types, yeah. but there's one person within the group that you is suddenly dead. yeah yeah that is the thing and if they go and assimilate someone that person's on the other team on the things team. Yeah. And there's a couple different things that you could do. You could do like the blood tests, like in the movie you could do, yeah, you know, whatever. And if you really felt like, it, I guess you could just go on a, there's a, the old guy remember that takes the ax and starts beating up the communications yeah. thing. Like he wasn't, he hadn't turned yet. A lot of people didn't he realize that. Gone crazy. Yeah, no, he saw yeah. it. He he saw the simulation on the computer and saw that the mm. shit would take over the world. He's like, fuck it. I'd rather kill us all than kill the world. <laughs> so he was still human. He goes over there, beats up their fucking, their radio contact. That's He's like, trapping us here. Yeah. Both hands. Just... Well, if you wanted to go batshit insane, you could. Yeah. You know? But I always thought that would be, that would be such a good game idea for like, especially for just 
streaming probably. I would think that would be good. I feel like the closest thing would be like getting on Gary's mod Trouble in Terrace Town on like a thing map or something. Yeah. VR. You can do that in VR now, can't you? Gary's mod, I think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, yeah. Huh. If you can, I'm definitely gonna go do that Harry Potter Hogwarts thing. Can. Oh god. Yeah. <sighs> so you see moaning Myrtle and VR. I used to play so much Dark RP, it was cool. Oh really? Yeah. That was a big part of like maybe a year or two of my life. I never oh, man. got into the RP stuff. Yeah, I think I like worked my way up the ranks to like head admin on some fucking server. And like I was on the they had a forum and everything. Oh man. I I remember I did the um like GTA RP is really big right now, right? Yeah, that's still taking off as well. It's still going. I'm I'm in the works of doing a GTA RP video right now. I, I've yeah. ordered all the accoutrements <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all the necessary things to make my uh my GTA RP video. And yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go ham on it. But I've I've started like looking into what people are doing on there now and it's not <laughs> it is not fun at all. It is like they take it so seriously. They, yeah, that was the thing with Gary's mod as well. It got to a point where it wasn't fun. People were, Oh no, nah, you can't cross the road. You didn't type in chat that you were crossing the street. It's like yeah. what? What are we playing? I saw this guy that's like an ex cop and he's like he plays a cop on the RP servers and oh. he's like, Oh, that would be funny. Like to yeah. see what he does and he's not. Oh, funny I think at I've all. seen that. He's literally playing that like he's a cop personality in the thing. Yeah. Like, people don't like you in real life. They're not gonna like you in a fucking game. Yeah. Nobody likes the, the fucking guy. cops. Fuck you. <laughs> you just gonna get I'm shot. Playing GTA, dude. I'm trying to shank this prostitute in an alley. I don't want you coming around the corner telling me it's not right. Jesus. <laughs> I know it's not right. That's why I'm not doing it in real life. <laughs> yeah. That's why you're playing the game and doing it. <laughs> yeah. And Let you're me still getting this in bitch. Trouble. Come on. <laughs> No, so uh, I was sitting there like looking at all these things, and they it's gotten so wacky. Like I back in 2017, I did some GTA RP on this fucking god awful server. Yeah, and I ended up getting I did like two or three videos on there, which I thought were pretty funny, and yeah. it ended up getting me and my friend banned because like oh boy. they um after they saw the video, yeah, they the people on the server saw the video. Oh, have man. you ever seen? Have you ever seen them? They're like, uh, it was like a news thing, like Los Santos news or some shit. I forget what it was called. Twitter, like how long ago was this? 2017. It's been three years. Yeah. Yeah, It's been a But the concept, I still crack up at the concept. I know not to suck my own cock or anything, but (laughs) go on, you bet. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I brought it up. Might as well say it. So, uh, the whole concept was they they there's this one guy that started a news company within the GTA RP server so he could mm. cover the events that were happening in GTA like that server and kind of try to build a community good idea right and he would yeah. like write stories about what was happening yeah fantastic i thought it was a, a great idea i like yeah. it. so then i was like well if i join the news team i could get a fat salary right which is what everybody wants is to get money so i was like hey i'll yeah. can I join your news team I get a the stupid weasel news van and everything, and um, yeah. and he was like, "Sure, man, you just got to write stories." I was like, "Okay," and I got in the van and I realized there ain't a fight. There's what am I gonna write a story about? There's nothing. So I was like, "What if? What if I made a story? <laughs> you know, like Nightcrawler. You ever seen that yeah. movie with Jake? Yeah, Chandler? I love that movie. Yeah. So I got my friend Brian to be a serial killer, like a hit, a hit and run serial killer in his car. I think I did see this actually. Yeah. And he, and what was so stupid about it was like, he would come by at like 120 miles per hour and just fucking run over like eight people. And they didn't immediately <laughs> die. They did that thing where they laid on the ground. You had to call nine one one and then get the yeah. ambulance there. And then, and like, as soon as they would get hit, there'd be bodies everywhere. I would come out like, I was there. I was there before you were the just crime standing there happened. filming I was them. <laughs> and I would just show up and go like put a mic in their face, be like, oh my God, the fucking the Los Santos Marauder is hit again. What do you have to say? And they would be like, This sucks. <laughs> like, I'm calling the these, admin. I wrote all these stories like just uh making this giant myth uh mythology about this fucking serial killer. It was obvious I was in on it because <laughs> I was yeah. there. At the scene of the crime every time. 
<laughs> and I made the video capturing him hitting him. Like I was, I just happened to yeah. be there, you know? And they were, they were like, he's obviously working in cahoots. So they fucking banned us both. <laughs> People just be buying their business. You come up to me like, not this fucking guy. We're about to die. We're about to get shot in the head. Yeah. We're about to they fucking see, get run over. They see the Weasel News van pull yeah, up. They like, know some run. shit's about to go down. <laughs> He's always there first. Uh, he's always there, it? dude. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good server, though. It, but yeah. there was there was problems with... um. There was problems with, like, the, the voice chat didn't always work. And because of that, it really oh, fell really? through. Yeah, like sometimes it, would just, chat. it wouldn't work for like six hours at a time. Sometimes I would be like, oh, oh what? This sucks. Yeah. No, fuck that. Yeah, it would really Best up. content comes from voice chat. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I, I think, I think uh, I'm out of stuff to talk about. You got anything? <laughs> oh, fuck. No. <laughs> you didn't write uh, anything for this? You're the fucking worst guest I've had. Come on. Was I at meant least, to? Which... At least Stimpy fucking like, wrote all this shit. Did he? <laughs> or, no, he didn't. He asked a lot of questions, though. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Um... <laughs> he's pretty reliable. <laughs> you have any, you have any uh, uh, projects in the works? Um, projects. Been trying to branch out of Rust. Three years late. Yeah. You and fucking everybody else. You know what the problem yeah. is? Is nobody commits to leaving. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's what it is, is you... they they go to make videos on other things. And then they don't do as well as their Rust videos. And so they're like, oh, I got to cling to the to the yeah. views. And I think. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm at the point where it's like I'll do a Rust video. Because I still enjoy making some. Like, yeah. Rust, I've cut out the whole just like you know fucking sweaty chad trying oh me kill people me got loot great like yeah. this is so boring i can't do that anymore so i'll do a rust video that i'm happy with and then i'll do a different game and then maybe i'll do another different game and then i'll like mix it up with rust so i'll put that in between so That's now the, the way, rust man. videos are becoming like the, the the tiny speck and eventually it'll just fizzle out yeah, disappear. that's exactly how I did it with Skyrim. Yeah. That's how you get it. And you have to make sure that anything you make besides Rust is better than anything yeah. you make on Rust. Like, just make sure when you make something that isn't Rust that it's like really good. Yeah, yeah. And I told I had this Jimmy guy on my last episode, and he's like, uh, all he does is RuneScape, and he's like, I need to branch out, like, because RuneScape's dying. I'm like, duh, it's not fucking yeah. 2005 anymore. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know so, I was still what I yeah. stimpy pipes huh? And so I was like, you know, there's here's a, a hard truth that you haven't swallowed yet. Um yeah. you're in order to get out of RuneScape, you're gonna have to kinda kill your channel a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna have to you're gonna take a hit and then it'll build back up. You know? Like, I'm in the middle of taking a hit. Yeah, right coming now, out of I left Tarkov. Yeah. Well, I refused yeah. to stick in it. Like it made it like huge on Tarkov, and I'm like, I don't want to be fucking. I don't want to be stuck playing nothing but Tarkov. You know, so you got out early. So yeah, I got out. I, I didn't yeah. turn into Aqua, where all he does is Tarkov now. And if he plays yeah, anything he else, it? people scream at him. I feel he, like he enjoys it. Though. He likes the game, but I feel like some days he just doesn't want to play it. And it's yeah. about to wipe. Have you ever played it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's about to wipe, and I'm so excited for the wipe because I haven't played it in like a month. You know, That's I got onto make yeah. one video, um, and I only played it for a day or two. I did two days. I played it for two days, but not that long yeah. each day, just for that video. So I haven't really gotten into it, and I'm so excited for the wipe because I haven't played it in months. That's yeah. If I don't touch Rust for a while, if I've done a lot of videos and I get sick of it, I'm like, right, fuck this. I'm gonna not play it for months. I've got footage yeah. backlog that I need to. Then, it, it, like a server wipe, I get excited to actually play it. Which that's what it's all about, man. Every like rare. once a year, I'll play Rust a uh, wipe. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. it's great. You got to pick your you got to pick your people though. It all depends oh, yeah. who you're playing with and who you run into as well. You got to pick gotta get some characters. You get, you can't pick people that are competitive because then they're gonna want to yeah. do all the fucking crafting shit and. Like, dude, I'm not whacking <laughs> rocks all day. Like, well, that's also the here. game's fault. Like, the game keeps adding shit, which just benefits that play style. Like, they're getting rid of the easy way to just hop on and do funny shit. It's more like you got to grind to get to the funny stuff now. And it's like, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I remember 
I would find people's little huts. Yeah. And I would, this was a long time ago. And I would find their places and I would just put those spike traps all, all around. Oh, you always go, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they would fucking, I would just love to sit there. Like, they were always my neighbors, and I'd just look at my window and hear them going, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you hear the, <laughs> the fucking yeah. legs just getting gashes. And that was back when they would fall down and go, ah, ah. Oh, yeah. I missed that. When did yeah. they ever remove that? And that was great because people would have like female models and they would just scream bloody murder. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, that game, dude. It was it was great, especially if you got like uh, building priv on someone's house. Oh yeah, you could fuck with them so bad. That I would never, I would never raid them. That wouldn't like that. It's so weird. It takes the fun out of it. You know, if you instantly yeah. raid somebody and ruin their you life, like, mess yeah. With them first. Oh, you. It has to be days in the yeah. making. You know. Yeah, yeah. Were you much of a griefer? Do you reckon, or like you get someone's TC, you can just place a fucking wall wherever you want. Not a wall, but I would definitely do like bear traps and, and yeah, yeah. pits around their house. It's a and mental I would like, game. I would come talk to them as if I was their friend. Like, who the fuck's doing all this, man? This yeah. fun. I need to find them. And I would put a couple outside my house, you know? Yeah. But I've always the... had a thing with kind of messing with people. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff I'm making now where it's just like, I'll fuck with someone and then completely act like I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. And I'll just run up to them like, man, are you getting this as well? Like, are you dying of these fucking bear traps? Who's doing this? And like, I'll team up with them and I'm yeah. the person doing it. And they have or, no idea. I get a lot of flack from, from my, uh, I have a really competitive friend that's like, yeah. like Overwatch and shit. He's always looking at fucking videos of people, mm. like team comps and stuff. Like he's one of those douchebags. And he, yeah. <laughs> anything <laughs> that comes out of Shroud's fucking mouth, he's just ready to uh, yeah. suck it up. Yeah. He's yeah. one of those guys. And, when we're playing like Daisy or something, he'll yeah. sit there. He'll be seeing on my screen, like if I'm streaming from Discord or something, or he'll watch yeah. me if we're uh, if we're playing Tarkov. Like sometimes I'll see someone and I'll have plenty of opportunity to shoot him, and I'll just kind of watch him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah. "What the fuck's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "I don't." Like there's something so like nothing gets my cock harder than just knowing I can snatch the life out of somebody. And they have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. a merciful Lord. I'm like, I'm letting you live right now. Like, yeah. Every breath you take is because of me. It's because of me. <laughs> like, I'm I don't know if, that, you. if that's stoking a God complex. I don't know what that's is. But I'm like, up, I think, yeah, you need to get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> like, just looking at someone like, yeah, run, my little, my little yeah. child, run. You heard it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Fun. Dude, there's nothing better in Tarkov than like waiting and waiting until someone's out in the open and then just shooting them in the leg with a Mosin because you know it breaks. Yeah. And then they just sit there and do that lay down and get up and <laughs> lay down thing trying to like do oh, the worm in oh. order to get out of line of sight. <laughs> <laughs> You're just standing ah! above them like, oh God. It's all I'm over. a mile away on a grassy knoll just fucking <laughs> like cock so hard. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> You've been waiting to do that for like 15 minutes just watching yeah. them, following them across the map. You have no idea. Dude, on like when I was really into Tarkov, I don't know if you've played that map reserve. Uh, which one is that? It's a like a military base. Yeah, yeah. There's this fucking blue storage container house thing. Mm. And nobody ever goes there because there's nothing in it. And, yep. But it sits at such a weird place where it has like this great line of sight down a very well traveled area. Yeah. And I have spent hours just laying in that place with like my barrel sticking <laughs> out the doorway. And you just yeah. you see people like if there's raiders there, they'll like kill the raiders and they'll take their time looting, looting, and looting. That's when you come out. And you just wait until they're done looting and they stand up and you fucking shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> that's. That's fucked up. But man. then you do, you don't go loot them then because that you know what they're doing. Yeah, and their their body is just one more added little morsel to the mouse trap. You know? Oh god! Because yeah. then people come out of nowhere. Oh, I heard a shot. Oh, look at all these bodies. Yeah, <laughs> they're not they're not thinking who shot them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, free loot. Yeah, and uh. uh yeah, I probably got a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I used to do that on the old, like, Armour 2 DayZ, like, Epoch. 
Yeah. I would like to sit in a tower for hours just watching people on the airfield. And I'm like, any second now, I'm going to do it. Actually, <laughs> if you're going to do a throwback like that, I had a video yeah. for a while. I'm not even sure if it's, I didn't make it to this channel. It was on my old channel, but it was yeah. um, before that fucking thing got ripped out of my hands. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I had a I yeah, I had an old one. Um, yeah. It was. I had looked at the map of Daisy, and I sat yeah. there and tried to like work out where people would go after they looted along the shore. And yeah. so I was like, "All right, main places were uh, Sherno and Electro, Electro, and then from yeah. there." they would make their way to Starry, but no one wants to run in a straight line because what they need food or drink along the way. So they'll usually go yeah. to like Magalevka or something North. Yeah. And there was like this crossroad area where people would like, they would always just pass by. And, and I sat there, it's in the middle of nowhere. So like if you're in between towns, a lot of people just kind of like put their auto run on or something like that and just kind of ignore it. Their guards down. Yeah. And I, I would, you would see people all the time running north of Magalevka, just trying to go to Star. Yeah, straight line booking it. Yeah, and you could kill them every time. It was the douchiest thing because they were like, <laughs> they weren't expecting it. They were sitting there fucking lean back with Cheetos and shit, just, ah, yeah. and eating. Like, because that game, 90% of it was just waiting to get someplace. Yeah, that was the thing I liked about it, though. You'd be out in the middle of literally fucking nowhere and you'd just see someone running across the field and you're like, what the hell are they doing out here? I ran into a friend doing that. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I, we were, Wait, like that's how you met them? Was, or you, no, no. You like, we, we were in a call together. Oh, on, like what? team speak. And, we, yeah. and he didn't even know where he was. And <laughs> and we were, the worst part was, is we weren't anywhere like on the map in a normal place. We were, you know, like the Northeast airfield. Yeah. This was before they added all that shit north of it. But yeah. Back when north of the northeast airfield was just a field that went barren. to the edge of the yeah. map and it was nothing. Yeah. We yeah. were out there and I like drove by in a blue car and he's like, guys, there's a blue car near me. And I just stopped. I'm like, is it in a field? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, is that, is it me? I'm hopping out. He's like, I guess it's you. And I'm like looking at the map. I'm like, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, what, how did you get here? Too. Yeah. Oh, He's like, I don't know. I went to the northeast airfield, and then I just kind of wandered. He he thought he was going south, and he was going yeah. the exact opposite of south, actually. Yeah, when you first starting out, on, was he new? Because like trying to navigate on that fucking game. <sighs> Dude, he was one of those people that he would be following you in a straight line, and you would go through a bush, and he would lose line of sight, and then he would just go, "I lost you," and then run off in a different direction. <laughs> yeah. I feel was, like I'm kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, dude, yeah. we didn't stop moving in the same direction. It's like as soon as you lose line of sight, we just you think we took you a right turn or left. something. Yeah, yeah. shop. He's one of those degree. people. He had no yeah. internal. You know what's weird is I've lived in the same town my entire life. I know my way around Shinaris better than I do my actual town. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I like see streets in real life. I'm like, I've never been here before, yeah. and it's like five minutes away from my house, and yeah. then I'll be up like. I don't even know where I'd be in Gorka running around. Like, yeah, I know this. Yeah. This is fine. Like, I can't find my way out of my driveway. I have my wife drive me everywhere. Like, I'm royalty, you know? <laughs> I Why get chauffeured everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but yeah, like, on, like, there's some maps and games. I, I used to know Shinaris really well. I don't know it on the standalone, but. No, I haven't played with standalone. Yeah, the standalone. I think like, the Armor 2 is one of the, like, probably the most hours I've sunk into a game. Right. I played that so like Overpock and Epoch and there's probably some other ones, but man. Did Overpock have the, the banks? Remember the banks? Yeah, that was the vaults or whatever. Yeah. You could have the little safes and yeah. you like build a brick. Oh man. Yeah. I remember once me and my friend, oh, this will be a quick story, I swear. Me and my friend built a base and this admin came over and he starts like using, he starts no clipping in, but like subtly, like we wouldn't notice. We're like, what the fuck are you doing, man? And he, took all of our money and i'm like what the fuck and, we, and they had a forum this is when all the servers had like forums you go on we we're on the yeah. forum and like just were like what the fuck is this guy doing turns out he uh he replied to it like denying all of it and he's like no nah, these kids fuck these kids get off the server man and uh, on his profile he had that he was from tasmania <laughs> and i'm like oh shit this is just like an australian server and he lived 
like in the same town as me and my friend. Oh, did you and, go beat uh, him up? Beat him up yeah, for we, that, yeah, we for that DZ yeah. money? It's like, where's my 10K, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he had like... to buy a Facebook. euro with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he had his Facebook linked on this fucking forum site. Oh, one day. And like his profile picture was him holding a gun. She <laughs> oh, was like, I'll kill any motherfucker that comes in. <laughs> and like, guns are very illegal here. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was about to say, like, what's your firearm laws like over there? Yeah, none. We had one like mass shooting here in uh, Port Arthur, it's called. Yeah. And since then, yeah, they fucked them off. We've had nothing since. Oh, that's stupid, man. What, what you gotta do is like, when you have a mass shooting, you gotta pump guns into the into the world. Yeah, give out more for defense. Yeah, that way. Yeah. When someone starts to shoot, everybody can shoot them down. Yeah. You know. Logic. Yeah, that's that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I. That's actually a point of contention between me and Aqua is, um, he's very <laughs> anti-gun, right? Yeah. And I have like a bunch of guns. But, like, I don't have, like, crazy assault rifles. How many like, guns do you have? What are we talking like? I'm, like, surrounded by five team. of them right now, but they're... they not. Yeah, what yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. They're what old, are they? Like, like, pistols and shotguns? Or... No, they're old bolt-action rifles. They're, there's not one in here that isn't over... That's younger than 70. Like, they're all fucking just old as shit. Bolt-action rifles. From, like, World War Two and older. Yeah. And And, like... And and I tell Aqua that, and he's like, "Fuck it! Oh my god, you don't need that. <laughs> like, no, I don't need it." But like, my dad gave it to me, and it's like an heirloom well, yeah. type thing. Yeah, it's not like you went out to a gun shop and bought yeah. like all this yeah. shit. Yeah, one of is them that, like, is a uh, Lee Enfield. That's a gun, isn't it? Yeah, have I, I actually have up? a Lee Enfield. Do you have one? That's yeah. like the only old rifle I know. It's so been it fucked was... up though. It oh, you know really? how they have like the wood stock that goes down the yeah, length yeah. of the barrel. Whoever owned yeah. it before me fucking cut it up. So it's like, God. yeah, it's a piece of shit now. But uh, yeah. I also have a my great uncle, I guess my grandfather's brother. He was in the Battle yeah. of the Bulge, right? Oh shit, yeah. And uh, that guy, that guy was in some some thick fighting, and it was so fucking bad. And he uh, <laughs> he came back from war, and like I asked him one time, and he just goes. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and you never asked again. Yeah. So, but anyways, uh, when he passed, I got this. Um, He has an FN Browning 1922 yeah. pistol, and it has, like, swastikas on the side of it and everything. Oh, he God. It. He fucking killed some guy and took it. He took it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's he, pretty cool, He man. peeled it off some fucking kraut that he killed. Yeah. And I was like, that's fucking awesome. So, like, I have a... That's I have probably a worth a bit. Jesus. Yeah, it's, where it's priceless to me. Yeah. I, I'm sure there's some sort of badass story behind it, but he was too traumatized to say anything. Yeah, I feel like that's better. Like, you don't know what, what's happened with this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a mystery. Right. And so, uh, uh, what was weird about him, though, is he was, like, he was, I think, like, 98 pounds. He was a really tiny yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, my, my family they were like super, super poor. And like yeah. during the great depression is when this guy grew up. So they didn't have any food really. And so like, he was naturally really small, like a North Korean yeah. when they don't get enough food, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and so when world war two broke out, he was like, Hey, I want to come in. And like the recruiting officer was like, get the fuck out of here. You're tiny. I can't take you. Yeah. And he kept like, he would, Captain America. right. He would come in yeah. like every week. And the guy was like, get out of here. And oh. then finally, like, enough people had died in the war. They are like, all right, we'll take it. <laughs> like, we need, yeah, yeah, stand at the need front. need some more cannon fodder, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they put him out there, and he was like, I guess he was a hard target to hit. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> like, and he lived somehow. Speedly. Yeah, he just can't, yeah. can't get a shot. The nicest dude in the world, though. That's what's so weird is he was, like, so gung-ho to go to, to war. And then he turned yeah. out, like, I'm, I never heard him do anything aggressive ever. Yeah, that's the thing, because a lot of people didn't have many options, so they're just normal ass people and it's like off the you ever see you ever see Game of Thrones? Yeah. You know how like the story starts and there's like Robert Baratheon and he's like this big fucking fat loser? Yeah. yeah. But everybody talks about like, oh, he was a great warrior back in his day. Back in the day, yeah, now he's just like beating his wife and it's like yeah. right. Yeah. That was like that was like my great uncle. He was like so gentle and like this shriveled up old man that was like always smiling and kind and everything. 
But yeah. like I found out like he was a, a fucking uh was it a flyweight national champion boxer in his youth. Jesus. <laughs> and he was a fucking war hero that killed a bunch of people and I'm like, oh. what the fuck? That's, <laughs> this guy yeah, doesn't look like he would hurt. Like, you yeah. don't know what they've done. There's some shit going on. I never thought this guy would do anything like aggressive in his life. Turns out he's been fucking putting people in the dirt for a living for like half his, year, half his <laughs> life. <laughs> his body's letting him down now. Like he still wants to. Like yeah. I'll kill every one of you. Well, he did end up getting dementia, right? Yeah. And uh, he's passed like five years ago now, but mm. he, he ended up getting dementia and there was an incident where someone was like, he thought someone had disrespected his wife and he started like squaring up against one of the nurses at the nursing home. Oh God. <laughs> and he just started like bobbing and weaving and shit like boxing. <laughs> and the guy was yeah. like, what the fuck? It's like 88 year old <laughs> man about to fucking lay him out. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, like my, uh, my granddad. He was like just this like sweet old little man. And then uh, my dad was telling me, back when he was growing up when he used to play like sports i think he's playing soccer and like the coach was just saying how garbage my dad was <laughs> at sports and so my granddad just like took the coach to the side and just beat him up <laughs> like, just God straight damn. up beat the fuck out of him just oh. for that really yeah but like damn. he was telling the truth his dad was you, probably you, shit at it you have any uh do you have any like criminals or anything in your family history any dark shady past no, i don't think so i wish i did though that'd be more interesting i had um do you yeah, yeah <laughs> sounds my, like it. my great grandfather was uh i don't know if you know anything about like the american south but he was a moonshiner oh yeah moonshine. he'd be like up in the mountains doing like making moonshine and selling it during yeah. like, prohibition and he um <laughs> there was these guys that, that's actually what he, he got uh, caught for, I think. Anyways, yeah. There was these guys that were uh, gambling down by this uh, this creek. And yeah. Something like red dead. Yeah. It was an <laughs> awfully red dead moment, I feel like. Yeah. And they were gambling down there. And these were not very nice guys. And I come from a family of very small people. And yeah. so just like my great uncle, this guy, his father was like 100 pounds maybe, right? And uh, insane alcoholic, and he yep. uh, hence the moonshine. <laughs> yeah, I was say. yeah. And he also had a gambling problem, so he went down to the creek and and he knew that like these guys were playing cards down there, and he could win some money. And so he went down there, and uh, but the problem is he didn't have any money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to gamble. So he took a one dollar bill. No, he took a one dollar bill and he wrapped it around a, a corn cob that he had cut. So it looked like at, it was at night when like they were gambling. A, like a roll, a wad of cash. Yeah, something. it looked like a roll yeah. of cash. He put a rubber band around it. It was just $1 bill wrapped around a corn cob. Fuck, that's smart. <laughs> and oh, he was man. like, look, guys, I got plenty to bet. And he held it up. And they were like, oh, shit. Okay, so they let him into the game. And he fucking puts his dollar down. <laughs> it just rolls off the table and cold. Immediately loses oh. <laughs> his hand. They go to grab it, see that it's a corn cob. <laughs> And starting to beat his ass, and they throw him in the creek, right? And, and this guy's like, no, no, this, this guy's like trying to drown him in this creek. Oh, and my fucking great uncle, or my my not my great uncle, my great grandfather, guts this fucking guy. Jesus, really? Yeah. Fuck. Fucking, it didn't I mean, kill him. It didn't kill him. It. He just like stabbed him in the gut and went, oh. and, then fucking, and then ran like the Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. My grandfather told me this. I was like, what the fuck? It sounds like a movie. Like, sounds, yeah, it sounds like a Red Dead mission. I think yeah, it, it does, right? A great yeah. corn cob chase. A corn what cob, man. I was like, that is some fucking <laughs> wild shit. You need to write that for something. You need to pitch that to someone. <laughs> right? That's, just, that's a movie waiting to happen. Well, it's just those small little segments that if I ever end up uh, getting just hit in the head and turning into like a Tarantino type person. Yeah. With a foot fetish. Yeah. You know, Is he got a foot fetish? Does he have a foot fetish? Yes. Yeah. Every fucking movie, there's not a single woman with shoes on. They're all. Oh feet. yeah, you're they right. They got their yeah. feet out. True. And he it, he, yeah. he actually that guy's so much of a foot fetishist. He wrote a scene and from Dust Till Dawn where he happens to have Selma Hayek walk <laughs> down a stage in a bikini 
stick her foot in his mouth and pour a shot down her leg into his mouth. Uh, yeah, I was, like, I was like, you wrote that scene just so you could have Selma Hayek shove her foot in your mouth. That's the only reason. Uh, that. <laughs> That's probably why he made the movie. He was like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I have this idea for Selma Hayek to shove her foot in my mouth. All right, now let's come really up with like a script. He started starring in all these movies just for that. He was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just like how he put himself in that scene in Pulp Fiction just so he could say the N-word to Samuel L. Yeah. Jackson. <laughs> you know? Did he say in Django? I'm sure he did. Was he in Django? Yeah, he, was in, he played a Australian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did a horrible accent. Yeah. So over the that. top. Oh, maybe he gets he blown in, up. Oh, yeah, he gets blown Maybe he was trying to do like a uh, Sir Winter accent. It was something like that, yeah. I feel like Winter like, has like the most say? over the top accent of all time. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty full on. He's got a thick one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. You've met Winter, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, met him before. I met him nice at PAX last year. Last wait, I went to PAX last year. Were you there? No, not not America. Australian PAX. Oh, I went Bro, to PAX. I got, oh man. That fucking thing. Yeah, PAX East. The whole yeah. uh I got an email, right? Yeah. And it's like, hey, I'm from this uh, company. I'm like, I don't know who this is. And it's like, hey, we're doing this promotion. We can't say who. But, uh, you know, we might, we, if you're interested, reply. And I was like, this just sounds like a fucking scam. What is this? I'm like, all right, what's up? I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, we're working with a brand. We can't tell you what, though. Would you be interested in perhaps flying somewhere? And I'm like, what is it? Like, this is obviously some setup. I don't trust this, man. I just didn't reply. And then... Uh, I'm good friends with Serge, who who went, and yeah. he's telling me like, oh yeah, this company emailed me, and it was this company. I'm like, what the fuck they emailed me to? I didn't reply. And he flew out to fucking America for all this with like all the boys, and I was like, fuck, I should have done that. <laughs> you know what's uh, what's funny about that is they emailed me, and they're like, that was the biggest mishandling of a promotion I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, there was no time to build it up. They were like, yeah, you can promote that you're going to PAX, but you can't say why. And I'm like... Yeah, why were they so secretive? Because it was like the merch thing, wasn't it, with Russ? Uh, like, yeah, it was It was a bad yeah. launch. It was bad on all sides. Like, it was just poorly marketed in every way. Oh, yeah, and, I didn't even know it was real. I wish I did. Yeah. I was so mad. Yeah, it was stupid. So, I, uh, they contacted me, and they're like, hey, do you want to go? And I was like, no, I don't. That's stupid. That's fucking dumb. <laughs> And then, yeah. and then like, I talked to Aqua and he was like, yeah, I'm going. And then I was like, oh shit. He's like, yeah, CND blood's going. Surge is going. Yeah. Wellen's going. Uh, Sir Winter's going. Bizzle's going. I don't know if you know Bizzle Snaff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking coolest guy I've ever met. And yeah. so I was like, I was like, well now I gotta go. I'm like, going. Yeah. I'll yeah. be there. So I turned around and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of interested. He's like, oh, well we already took you off the list. I'm like, well, I really want to go now. He's like, okay, well you're on the list of people that like, they're not really excited about having, but they're kind of like, if we have room for you, we'll bring you. And I'm like, yeah, dude, you ain't even got to pay me. Just pay for the fucking air tickets. <laughs> like, and yeah. he's like, Oh, well that's quite a turnaround. And I was like, oh, oh, piece God. of shit. Yeah. So I was <laughs> surprised when they about me. Cause I wasn't even like, I was still just doing basic rough stuff. And no one yeah, but you had a dedicated it. fan base. Yeah, like I, that's why I thought it was a scam. Like, so like, yeah, we want yeah. you and a bunch of other creators. I was surprised they got me because, like, I may have a, a sizable channel, but like, <laughs> when was the last time I made a Rust video? Yeah, that's the thing. You're gonna go. Pro- <laughs> Did you do the whole like, are you a Rust merch partner and all that? Were you doing that? I didn't fucking. I didn't even put out their URL or nothing. I don't you didn't even wear a shirt. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just showed up and like talked to people at their booth. And like yeah. and did that stuff, which was so cool. Yeah. I didn't think there would that be a soul cool. there. I thought yeah. that was that was actually the night before. I had like my stomach was all torn up and everything because I was like, "What if, just like the stand up thing? Like, what if I go there and I'm waiting to talk to people and nobody shows up?" Yeah, like I was yeah. having that when I was, found, when uh, ben, when Serge told me what it was and that he was going, I was like, "Okay." Like half of me's kind of glad that I wasn't going because I don't think anyone would have turned up and it would have just been like awkward as fuck. Yeah, and then it turns I out that there was that. there were so many people lined up. Really? Yeah, there was like I met a shitload of people. It was fucking awesome. Oh, that would be sick. And I and like they 
yeah, they all knew me and everything, and I was shaking hands. Like, wow. actually, now that Corona's broken out, like, looking back on it, I was like, if, like, if it was out the then, I would be fucking dead. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was shaking so many shaking hands. So and many fucking, hands. Yeah, oh, man. and then like this one kid was like, "Hey, can you pick me up like a baby for the picture?" I was like, "All right," and I did it. And then like after that, everybody's like, "Pick me up like a baby too." And like, fuck, like everybody likes to have these like illusions of of grandeur and and thinking that yeah. like they're masculine and everything. And I was thinking that, and like I picked this fucking kid up, and like I could feel my little gamer arms breaking. I was like, "Oh, oh yeah." <laughs> and like the next day, my back hurt from picking up all these fucking people. Oh god. <laughs> How long we was it going for? Was this like there for hours? hours. Oh, <laughs> it was, man. Fuck yeah, man. it was. And like, what's funny is, well, and like halfway through it, he left to go to the bathroom, and like yeah. he didn't come back for like ten minutes, and and like his people were like standing there in line, and it was fucking weird because he came back all hyped up. I thought he went and did some coke for a minute. Coke, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <what's going> on? <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Yeah. He's going to get pissed at me eventually because I've said that story like five times. Like the kid, the guy is just so wired. I'm like, there's no way he's not on Coke. Yeah. I just, I just don't believe it. He got, cause he went from like nobody to just up there. Yeah. Like if I had that meteoric rise to success, I would be doing Coke. <laughs> That's all yeah. I'm like, Kid I'd be thing. looking for something to spend my money on. It was like literally an overnight thing almost. Like I remember seeing the video he had where it was him holding like the fucking C4 detonator on Rust and it was it was always on the side. But yeah. And it just every day I'd wake up and it was like I'd see it there again and it was like it was going up millions by millions. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like yeah. that's insane. Now do you have more respect for someone that's figured out what people want to watch like him and that's an overnight success? Or do you feel like you have more respect for people that slowly grind it out for years of at a time. Oh, uh, it's mixed. Like, oh man, that's a tricky one because I think they're both doing the right thing. I don't think you should pick one or the other because you can't really. Your yeah. shit might blow up randomly if it's good enough to blow up. Then that's good. Then you've reached that point. But if you slowly grind at it, I think eventually you'll start making content that people actually like and then that'll blow up. Hmm. Yeah. I, this uh, is coming from a Ross YouTuber, so don't, yeah. uh, don't take anything I say. <laughs> well, I was like, I think if I was, if I was to follow like, oh, every video has to be big, like as big as it can possibly be, I would still be making Tarkov. Like I'd find that one thing that yeah. does well and then I'd keep making it. But like right after I made Where like, does that end though? Like, Exactly. Do do? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go down this fucking one road that I don't know yeah. where, it, where it ends up. So I think like after I made those really big, I sat back and I was like, I need to make a weird video that has nothing to do with Tarkov. Yeah. <laughs> so I made that fucking, that gusher coom video where I was just milking <laughs> gushers and <laughs> drinking it. And like that video popped off. It has like a million views. Yeah. And, uh, and I was like, all right, now these people know I ain't about that fucking Tarkov only shit. Yeah. You still get the play Tarkov comments and, no, Why I never, I never really, oh, really, I got those for like a week or two, but I, I quickly uh, cut those people out of my life. Yeah. I, I like to think of, I'm uh, I'm not streaming Rust, 80% of the chat, play Rust, play Rust yeah. now, playing with them. It's like you're live there and you're reading it and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. You gotta, I like to have a, a hostage audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're just <laughs> holding them. scared to speak up. Say the right <laughs> Thing or you're banned. <laughs> I, yeah, I just ban people left and right. Like I want them to be like, quaking in fear. Yeah, they're too scared to type anything. <laughs> they just subscribe and then they just watch. <laughs> so it's a sub only chat. Like, you can yeah, make money for the no, I, I, I don't think I'd ever do that on Twitch, but uh, uh, yeah, the um, I don't know, like Twitch. I feel like if I'm gonna ever stream, I want it to be like these short condensed like it's it's a a well-rounded thought out piece of streaming yeah i don't want yeah. to be that fucking guy like summit where he just sits there with his weird rat face and just streams for 12 hours a day it's fucking weird yeah i can't stream for like it gets to an hour and i'm like i'm gonna pack this in this is boring and, and i after, can tell it's boring as well like people yeah. are finding it boring i'm like fuck this and after like three hours you get off and like you don't feel good you know, no. I mean? you feel emotionally and drained and physically yeah. drained. 
where like if I'm working on a video, like I got this GTA RP video, I'm buying stuff for it. I'm like I'm yeah. thinking about like how I'm going to set up camera work and everything and like the editing process. It's going to be a motherfucker to sit down and actually like the worst part of editing is is dragging the footage and putting it in the thing and watching uh, it conform all the footage and you're just like Yep. Oh. Like, you see, yeah. You this see, ahead like, of me is going to suck. <laughs> you see and like you start cutting it up and then you like scroll out and you see how much is still left and like what the fuck have I been doing? I need to I need to keep cutting it. Yeah. But like as you get into it, like when you're finished, you have this very huge sense of like accomplishment, especially if you love the video, yeah. you know, oh, it yeah. feels good. And I never felt that once with streaming, even at my like yeah. peak streamer moment. I never felt that once. Yeah, I feel like I've felt I, I've had like good streams where I've got off and gone. That was a good stream. I want to do yeah. that again. But it, it's like fucking far needle between. in a haystack. Yeah, it's yeah. like. A rarity. Yeah, actually, the only time I felt that way is crashing someone else's stream. Yeah, yeah. I um, I have a friend Fungal Toe that was streaming Dark Souls. I watched and, that podcast with him actually. And me and was good one, yeah. <laughs> me and uh, this kid Chud. I don't know if you've met yeah. Chud. He's like, yeah, oh, I haven't spoke to him. I know him though. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's yeah. like fucking asshole of all time. I swear. Yeah, yeah he's an asshole. And we just went in a Fungal stream. Like while he's trying to play Dark Souls and we're just sitting there going, um, <laughs> basically bringing up really controversial things. But in the chat, you're in a call. No, with him. in the call with him. And he's like, <laughs> he's trying to concentrate playing Dark Souls. And he, I don't know why he's on Discord, but he is. <laughs> of all the and games. So. <laughs> we just keep asking him questions where it's like, hey, uh, Fungal, I know it's your stream. Uh, so is it okay if we bring up this controversial topic? Is that all right? And he's like, okay, fine. And it's like, just wanted to say, uh, just want to state this for the record: the Holocaust. Don't agree with it. Never felt it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go out on a controversial limb here and say that I'm not cool with that. <laughs> and he'd be like, "Okay, thank you." What do you guys okay, think in the, yeah, the chat? How do you feel about that? Yeah. And like, we kept like bringing up everything, <laughs> like uh, war oh. crimes of the of the Second Sino-Japanese War. Not very cool. Never thought those <laughs> were very great. Uh, I thought they went a little bit overboard. <laughs> And like, he's just dying to a boss for like the yeah. fifth time it's like, he's just like fuck? will you guys please stop and we did that I'm oh. talking like the joke was funny for like 30 seconds and then yeah. it was really unfunny for like 20 minutes and then the longer we kept it was like an hour and a half we did it <laughs> um. <laughs> and so it got funny again after like an hour because it was like how long are these idiots going to keep bringing up horrible things and saying they don't agree with yeah. it <laughs> And the whole time he's just fucking pissed off and aggravated because he can't like he the whole time it was like an hour he was just stuck in that I don't know if you ever played Dark Souls three but I haven't played any Dark Souls it looks too you haven't played me. any no I'm not uh, I actually have wanted to but I don't know I get frustrated easy I feel like I'll just pack it in when I die and I'll be like this f I know you meant to die a lot in it but it's yeah just frustrating yeah. You know what I love about podcasts is when my fucking dog is right on the other side of the wall barking. That's I, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> it's like a bird. We, we built this high fence, right? To like yeah. maybe, because we used to have a chain link fence. And so we're yeah. like, hey, let's build this high fence and then my dog won't be able to see stuff. And so then she won't bark. But instead, my dog now just barks at the sky. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like fucking Stress blue box above me. Anything. Yeah. yeah. She has no idea what she's barking at. She barks even more because she's like barking at the unknown. Yeah. Yeah, my dog does that as well. Yeah. Shits me. You know what's funny is I got these new neighbors, right? They moved mm -hmm. in and we had been talking about building a fence for a long time. And then we went out in our backyard to like hang out after work and everything and like yeah. throw the Frisbee around and play with our daughter. And like these new people moved in and they have these two daughters that are like nine and 10 years old. Yeah. And, um, and they keep, like they would, as soon as we'd go out in the backyard, they would come out in their backyard and just ask us questions and want to play with uh, my daughter and everything. And, uh, and they were just annoying the shit out of us. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and so mysteriously, two weeks after they moved in, we built this giant privacy fence. fence. <laughs> and like, and they came over and they're like, oh, why'd you buy it? Why'd you build a fence? And the, like, if a nine-year-old asks, why did you build a fence? That means their parents said they probably built it because yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way they're going home. Oh, they built a yeah. large fence in the yard. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and so I was like, Oh no, we, we've been thinking about building this for a long time, but, uh, uh I built it because of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hands down. I built it because of them. Fucking I just imagine me. them asking you just jumping yeah. up and down, trying to get their heads over the fence. Like, <laughs> why did you build, you build this? Fence? We can't talk anymore. <laughs> you hear me? Like, oh, this is great. Chucking the Frisbee. Yeah. If only someone didn't have this fence here, I'd be able to talk. <laughs> The parents are standing over it like, you fucking. Yeah. No, it was great timing though because like the quarantine thing happened. So everybody's spending all this time in their backyard. Oh, yeah, true. And before I would have had like, I would have just been staring at these other families through a chain link fence, you know. <laughs> and now I got like this nowhere giant, else outside. It just... got this giant wooden wall separating us. Yeah, it's great. That's great. Yeah. But, uh, Anyways, yeah, I think that's about everything. You got it. You got anything else to talk about? Um, no, I think that's good. How about this? Let's start a new segment where you suggest the next guest to be on the podcast. You got anybody that you think should Bumba be on there? Gaming. Who? Bumba. Bumba Gaming. Oh, come on. Should it's do supposed, a, you should it's do supposed like to be a, a comedy. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed no, to be a funny do like podcast. A classics episode. You get like uh, Vox Bear, Grizzly. Get Dean Central on. Oh, get yeah, like uh, Guacamole Jones. That guy. Well, he's a cop. Now. All... Yeah. So is Dean, I think. Is Dean a cop? Dean's a cop, yeah. I always That's thought Dean was like, YouTube. I always thought he was like really closeted homosexual. I always got that he, vibe from him. He's got those looks, eh? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's yeah. a cop now. Oh. I don't know. I reckon just a uh, classic. Do you think it's because he likes holding men down and. Probably putting them he in hand. Does tend to pin them down a lot just for a I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> First day of training, hand to hand combat, pinning men down. He's like, I've been doing this for years. <laughs> <laughs> Slaps the sergeant on the ass. I got, I got this. I got this no. wrapped up. <laughs> oh god, man! It's weird where your work life and your sex life could just merge like that. You know? Yeah. So yeah. Ripping the buttons off his police <laughs> outfit. <laughs> like <it's just> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. oh shit! All right, so the kid's screaming. There's some stuff going in the sink. I'm gonna go now. It was nice having yeah. you. Good luck. Good chat. And thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, man. Hey. Oh wait. By the way, uh, I'll, uh, you you were talking about talk like to you again someone in three years. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in 2023. You were like, I asked you to suggest someone to have on the podcast. You know, um. I was talking about getting on that Swagger Souls guys podcast. Oh yeah, the Misfits. Yeah, uh, just to rip off his mask because I want to see what he looks like. But then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, hey, you know, he follows me on Twitter. I should DM him and see if he wants to come on my podcast. So I yeah. DM'd him, and the fucking guy left me on red. <laughs> really? <laughs> he looked at that shit. And was oh, like, did he see? He seen it. <laughs> yeah, he saw it. Oh man, <laughs> he didn't really? Say shit. What the fuck? Shit. Probably he, say, he, yeah. he's like messaged me back and forth a couple times. Like we talked at DMs and then he saw that shit yeah. and was like, Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm Which is actually like, kind of funnier. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty good friends with um Mason Zuckles in that fucking group. Yeah. So yeah. I don't Dude, the funniest we clip. They were all there. Yeah. The funniest clip from Zuckles. I think one of the funniest clips I've ever seen on Twitch is him getting pissed at some guy stream sniping him. And so he's like, fuck it, I'm done. And he like walks out of his room and then he crawls back like a goblin oh, on the yeah. carpet. <laughs> yeah. And like, <laughs> he so thinks the, the camera can't see him. Yeah. He like crawls back in. <laughs> Just to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I would have never thought of that in a million years. Yeah. I thought that was the funniest. That was like five years ago, dude. That was so yeah, long like, ago. Oh, Streaming like Arma Three once. Did you see that clip? Someone ran up to him, just started screaming the N word, no. like over and over again. So he's rather than like turn game volume down, he just screams as loud as he can. He was like, he's like, fuck, yeah, <laughs> For like ten minutes. Wait, is he the same guy that he was doing that technique? But then he was like, oh, I'll turn down the game volume. Like he was screaming while he was trying to alt tab to OBS to make it stop. And he, he turned down the wrong volume slider. So he turned down his mic and left the game volume up. Yeah. But so you just see him in the fucking camera screaming, but he's not making any noise. <laughs> and you just hear the guy still going inward, inward. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. oh man, that's a that's a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. No, he's a yeah. nice guy. I love him. Yeah. I haven't uh I haven't met him though, I don't think. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, actually I haven't yeah. met anybody from the, the whole misfits thing. Yeah. No, they're pretty nice. I don't know. I only really know Swagger and, and Zuckles. Yeah. They're like the, they're the two out. I don't really know the rest of the group. But um yeah, Swagger's been I remember I had like I don't even know, I probably had like forty or fifty K subs and he was already like massive. And he just DMs me on Twitter and he's like, hey, man, I've been loving your Russ Solo series. Like the worst videos I do. And I'm like, what the fuck? Thanks, man. Yeah, I remember he, he emailed me when he was coming up. Yeah. And he was like, hey, you want to make a video together? And I was like, like no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, he, and then he, he promptly gets me back by being bigger than I'll ever be. Yeah, he did it. And then he leaves me on red. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's his I bet ultimate like, revenge. You just send back a screenshot of the email. He's saying, yeah, <laughs> do like, that. Send back the screen. Remember this fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, how how lucker dog is he having that fucking helmet? I probably should have did that. Yeah. You know, because at his level, he probably gets. I'll light your fucking mask. Yeah. That shit got up quick. Yeah, but he probably never gets recognized. You know, yeah. No. I I went to. There's a guy down at the local Chick Fil A that mm. recognized me, right? And so I went yeah. in there and got Chick Fil A, and then I was feeling for breakfast, and he was like, "Hey man, how you doing?" And he gives it to me, and then um, and then I felt like a fucking fat ass, and I want Chick Fil A again for lunch, and yeah. but then I was embarrassed because I knew the guy was still on shift, so I didn't want to like go in and have him see me a second time. So I went through <laughs> the drive through. Oh no! It was and the like, other fucking and I see. There's this woman that's working the drive through thing. So I'm like, oh, sweet. And then yeah. uh, and my car comes up. And the second my car pulls up, the fucking lady has a hand pop up on her shoulder. She gets yanked out of the window. And that oh, guy no. appears in the window. He gives me my food. And he goes, back for a second time, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'd fuck. never eat Chick-fil-A again. <laughs> fuck I'm, that. I'm scared to go back. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't handle that. I was... Man, I've never had shit like that happen, really, because, like, I don't show my face that much. Yeah. But I was on a walk. This is, like, a week ago. I'm on, like, a walk just doing, like, a hike thing, and these two fucking skateboarders, like, these cool-ass dudes come past me, and I see they're, like, giving me a side-eye, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm about to get bashed or something? Because, you know, it's Australia. This shit happens. And, like, they hop off their skateboards and just start jogging towards me. I'm like, I'm about to fucking die. Because it's, <laughs> it's kind of late. It's down the path. No one else is there. Yeah, and they just like take out their fucking AirPods and like, sorry to interrupt, man. Are you Mimeo? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm out of breath, sweating, <laughs> looking like a fat piece of shit doing this walk. And I'm like, yeah, bro, what's up? <laughs> like, what do you want? And he's like, oh, I love your stuff. I watched your video this morning. I'm like, thanks, man. And they just walked with me, and I'm like, oh fuck. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. You know what's funny is I was at the uh, grocery store. Yeah. And everybody I've met that has recognized me has been super nice. Nothing yeah. but the coolest people yeah. really like <laughs> that's best. I, and, and so I've had no bad experiences. So I've been treating everybody the same where I'm like, Oh man, nice to meet you. It's awesome. What's your name? I always ask their name. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there's this fucking guy that works at the, at the grocery store. And I went there yeah. and he was stocking shelves and I come up to him. I'm like, Hey man, uh, like, do you guys have any fucking sugar? Because the whole virus thing, like all the food's gone off the shelves. It looks oh, like this Soviet is recent? Russia. Yeah, it was recent. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like nothing on the shelves. It's like, do you guys have any sugar? Because I'm trying to get my wife to bake cookies. You know, she's working at home. She better do something fucking important. So, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> man, gotta eat. Yeah, man, gotta eat. I was yeah. like, make some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he just looks at me and goes, "Hi, huh, I didn't know you lived here." I go, what? He goes, oh, fuck. from YouTube, right? You're General Sam? I go, yeah. And so then I'm like starting to be nice to him. And he's being like standoffish, like kind of an asshole. Really? And I think like yeah. after I left, what it was is he recognized me. He knew who I was, but he did not like me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, that's <laughs> fucking like, General Sam. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's that fucking guy. <laughs> Asking for sugar. Oh, well, fuck. Oh. It'd be like if I, fe- if I fucking met like Biggie, you know, that big fucking fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> if I like met him, I'd be like, fucking curl up my lip. 
<laughs> fucking Philip DeFranco or some shit. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I don't oh, oh, talk oh. to that guy. <laughs> fucking Philip DeFranco. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, what's your, uh, I know it's been going on forever, but I got one last question. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're still going. I thought we ended. <laughs> no, we didn't end. Shit. I, I never like even told you we were chat. starting. No, we're just going. No, I, yeah, okay, sure. What's your uh, what's your niche weird thing that you like looking at on YouTube? On YouTube, fuck, hang on, give me a minute. I'll think of it. There's got to be something like a weird uh, genre outside of the norm. I like that. You ever see that crazy Russian hacker guy? You ever uh, see yeah. that dude? Fuck, I love his voice. Yeah, and he wait. just does weird shit like coolest kitchen gadgets, and they're like yeah. the shittest things. Like they're probably off a wish or something. But I don't know. I can't stop watching them. I saw a video where it was funny because he was showing me. He was showing me like <laughs> it was such a weird divide. He was a Russian guy showing me shit that only like an old black man would show you in the south. <laughs> he was like showing you like tips on how to eat barbecue. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, you hold the wing and then you twist this knuckle and pull out and then the bone is gone. And then you have, I watched that chicken. one. Yeah. yeah that's the guy I have stuff. seen old black guys. If you go to like a barbecue place around here, they'll grab a chicken wing and like whoosh, they'll debone it in a second and eat the whole thing. Yeah. Like a chicken wing. Yeah. He I'm like, it's like, so really weird to see a Russian hands. guy. Yeah. yeah he's get like, in there. Crazy man. You grab the bone <laughs> on the left. You pull the right chicken. It's crazy. man. I'm like, this is sick. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I do that every time now. <laughs> yeah time, i remember yeah. i tried it but like we don't do like chicken here properly so it's like i couldn't really do it, it you have to have small. a it didn't work you have to have a properly cooked chicken wing i think yeah it is yeah yeah shout but out the, crazy uh, russian hacker <laughs> mine is um have you ever seen like those okay so i used to watch these a lot and there's this yeah. guy his name was like baba something he's like a cosmic barber guy and, cosmic and then baba. I saw that critical dude. He made a video yeah. reacting to them. And I was like, fuck, yeah. I forgot about Did these guys. So blow I, went them up? I went on like, like another be- rampant. No, they've already been blown up. Like the guy died oh. years ago. But, uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But I, I was like, I got thrown back into it. I forgot I'd watched all these. But they're kind of like a mix between ASMR and they're like massage videos. But they're Is also they're like smacking their heads. Yeah, around? smacking the shit yeah. out. Of yeah. And yeah. And I was watching one, and it's hilarious because it looks like, like a fucking phone booth, that's just like off the side of the street in New Delhi. Because then the guy has like a little curtain that he closes the door with, and oh, God. <laughs> and like on the other side, you just see there's cars constantly going by and shit, and uh, and it's so hot and sweaty in there, and you're in there with this Indian guy yeah. who's just beating the crap out of you. <laughs> I don't just know why people would pay you for it. Yeah, yeah, and this guy. And what's funny is I'm sitting there watching it, watching it. And the whole time the guy just keeps going, <sighs> relax, relax. <laughs> and he's doing it and I'm watching. And then I realized the fucking guy that's getting the massage is Gavin from slow-mo guys and from rooster teeth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, guy. what? I think I'll see. Yeah. Gavin free. He's like, yeah, getting Gavin shit. Free. Yeah, 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 he's getting on massage. His fucking arms. Wait, was all it his everywhere. video? No, it was just on this guy's channel. I think I've seen that though. I've definitely seen that. It's just uh, funny because yeah. like I didn't I realize it was him until like twenty minutes in. Yeah, he's sitting there getting I love rubbed guy. down and everything. He's getting beaten up. I gotta watch that again. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the real that guy. The Baba dude is not the beat up guy. The beat up oh, guy. Really? Yeah, he kind of he slaps you around a little bit, but if you want to get treated like a fucking like, like an trash. ugly ex wife, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> you just straight up kill you. Yeah, you go to the other dude that always wears the tank top. He's got yeah. Alibaba always wears a nice dude. dress shirt, but the guy with the tank top, he wants his arms free to really get a good beating in. The motion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's gonna get some sweet. Oh god. Yeah, you know the shit's bad when he pulls out that wooden chisel thing and starts fucking. Oh god. <laughs> Have you seen that? No. He pulls, it, he pulls out like this wooden chisel and starts going to town on your vertebrae with it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What the fuck? You probably walk out there like you can't move your left leg. <laughs> I right now I'm going through like horrible back pain and like sciatica pain, and so like I yeah. saw that video of him going like beating up this guy's lower back with a chisel. Make it worse. And I was like, ah, like my ass cheek was clenching at the thought of it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay, yeah, I think that's the end now. <laughs> yeah. That's officially yeah, the end. Stop. End that. it.